Hey, orange one here. So we're uh, going to start off the episode trying to go for a little hunt to try and get some food for the copper mine because we're gonna starve to death. And you know, I was, it was funny. I was just uh, thinking about how I I had kind of a hard day at work today, and so I was just thinking about man, I want a new job, and I was kind of down on myself. And I'm thinking how I want the YouTube to be like a full-time thing. But you know what? At least I'm not starving, right? At least I'm not like these guys either. I'm not like a, a jerk. I mean, some people might think I'm a jerk. <laughs> some students probably do. Um, anyways, I don't want to talk too much about that stuff. Because I want to focus on something that's going to make me happy. Which is eating the hive. Gotta get that food. Hopefully something nearby spawns, because uh, at the copper mine, we definitely need it. Come on, guys. Find something. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've just been... I was also kind of thinking about the whole future thing with the YouTube. I really would like this to turn it into like a full-time thing, but I don't think it's going to pan out, unfortunately. As a full-time thing, at least not any any anytime soon, because you know we'll see about like uh, exactly when I decide to have a family. But I'm thinking that's gonna be like the next year or so, and it's like, oh god, I can't do that. Teach and do the YouTube. Okay, my cat went from being sweet to being sour real fast as soon as I said kid. I was like, no, I'm your kid. No real human babies but yeah I was I've just been kind of like maybe I've just been a little bit down on myself but I was just thinking like man I wish this would pan out but like I tried to do like a calculation of how much money I would make in a year based off like the last week or so and it's uh not great I mean it's better than nothing but I think it's like about a thousand dollars from ads like 500 to 1,000, somewhere in that range. It's kind of pretty variable how much views I've been getting. So it's like, uh, is it, it's also hard to say, am I going to grow or not grow? Or, you know, like what's, what's going to happen long term is very much dependent on a lot of other stuff. Uh, Igor, are you fast enough to at least take one of these dudes? Because if you can, I think that we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, you're gonna get hit by the other one if it attacks you, and I don't want that. Uh, hold on. Maybe we should be growing pet in the fray. That pet's like super slow. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna let the hybrids get some some glory. Man, that one is lasting a while against old Igor. I'm actually, have impressed. I'm actually very impressed, not just kind of impressed. Okay, now Arnold, there we go, good job. Good job, team. We got some food. Oh, Benedict, what What are you doing? What's happening here? Oh, God. You've already killed a couple of them, too. Hold on, get the meat, Igor. What are you doing in Venge? Oh yeah, we were... This is where the gutters come to hunt for spiders. Wait, what? Gutters? Beak things hunt spiders? Okay. I did not know that. It's actually kind of an interesting little lore fact. Please don't get lasered. The gutters come to hunt for spiders. Well, I didn't know if spiders spawned in here. I could be wrong, maybe um, maybe beak things are not gutters, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's referring to there. And I just want to make sure that Stylus is not getting murdered. No, he's not. We, oh yeah, I know, I remember what you were doing. You were trying to find an AI core, looking for cleaner units. Um, maybe the map's not loaded in. Maybe I should just give it a little... A little bit of time to load in, and we'll see what happens there. Man, I feel like I need to get a new CPU or something. 
I mean, my current CPU is fine. But we do have to wait quite a while there before we get um, the zone loaded. I'm excited for Kenshi too. I hope they optimize like that map loading a little bit better. I think they will. Okay, so we'll leave you there for now. We'll see what we find in a little bit. Um, yeah, let's just focus on getting the food right now. And Igor, we will get you that left arm uh, just a little bit from now. Is that Boneyard Wolf? Uh, no, you don't. Your food. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm going to put you on hold. Igor can hunt. He's actually totally fast enough to, like, wreck these guys. Totally fine. Okay, we have enough food to get at least two people out of starvation. Oh, Oro, you're really hungry, too. But you're at, you're at the place that actually has some food. Okay, they're not going to die immediately. So instead of going straight back to the copper mine, why don't we kind of loop around a little bit? And that dog, I think, kind of came from this way. We do also want to keep an eye out for doggas. Benedict, I'm just going to keep an eye on that. You seem like you're fine. But yeah, anyways, I was I was trying to think about the whole money thing, and um, I need to grow fast. Like, I need to grow real fast if I want to turn this into a career in the next year. I don't think it's going to happen. But I think, you know, what's got to probably happen with that is that uh, I'll probably just upload less. Like, let's be real. If I have a kid, it's going to be a lot less. But I'm going to miss you guys. Like, I really am. Like, I really enjoy talking to you all about, like, Kenshi and Cataclysm, all these other games. Because I don't know anyone in the real world who plays these games. At the very least, I, I want to keep the uh, Discord fairly active. I mean... Judging by it not being too active right now. We'll see about that. But I would like to keep on talking with you guys at the very least on a regular basis. And talking to you guys about like crazy Kenshi theories and um, just like philosophy and stuff that you see in games. I just enjoy that stuff a lot. Oh look, we got some other beak things here. More food. Yay. Um, Arnold actually got a little beat up there. That hunting trip uh, was not uh, not too great for you, huh? Oh, you're way, way, way down. Oh gosh, what am I doing having you carry so much junk? And you've got not even that good of a leg. We need to upgrade our, our prince's limbs. That I feel actually kind of bad about. But yeah, to get the um, to get it to be like a survivable income, I, like. Right now, with 1,000 subscribers and making roughly a thousand dollars, let's say it's a thousand. Um, I don't think in reality that's going to be the case. Oh, whoa, whoa, Igor, Mr. Vicious over here, dude. What is going on? <laughs> oh, you know what we should also be doing because we're hivers. Yeah, we need we need just meat at this point. The princes won't eat it, but uh, the princes aren't the ones that are starving like right right now. For a minute, I got confused because I was like, "Why is there a human there?" I, and then I remembered, "Oh yeah, we have a human, a little pet." Uh, yeah, I think you guys are fine. I don't know what exactly you're shooting at. Okay, you're shooting at the tower, by the looks of it. Great thinking. Like, for real, what are you guys aiming at? It looks to me like they're aiming, like, right at the gate, but I think they might be aiming over there. Oh, look, there's, like... Yeah, they're aiming over there. They're aiming at these guys, it looks like to me. And we could go... Pick that corpse for some food. We could do that. Elite hunters. 
What? Really? Okay, so we haven't seen that in a while. Where are they? I see where they're at. They're actually not too far away from us. Okay, well... I think we can take them. No, no, no. Bad Google. I'm not talking to you. Be quiet. Um, I think we can totally take them with Igor and Benedict and our princes. We might lose some princes, though. We might want to also bring a couple soldiers up there. Yeah, let's get a little contingency of our soldiers. Not all of them, but maybe like four of them. And let's get those over, over there. Well, actually, before we leave, we'll try and recruit that uh, super soldier one more time. The elite guard or whatever for the queen. The um, 1886. Elite drone guard, go talk to them. It'd be real dandy if... Uh... <laughs> the village? What are you talking about, the village? You need to defend the queen. Okay, let's get these guys out here kind of, kind of interfere that with that industry that we set up up there and there's only four of them I think that would be okay um actually just hold on give me a second guys all right I am back man that was just awesome I just got hand delivered food I had a pretty rough day so I'm getting pampered a little bit at home <laughs> Oh man, that was actually super good. That was really nice. It's like a little, uh, little like taco, a soft shell, which I like. Um, do we have a better left arm? If we do, I'd like to install that on you. Nah, we don't, unfortunately. How are you doing there? Oh, you got a number of uh, fancy, fancy hyper limbs there. You got specialist leg my goodness look at you okay uh you guys go ahead and stop doing your jobs come over here and then where is igor here you are i think we just need to get back the copper mine and also benedict i don't know if I had already sent you to the copper mine, but I'd like you to meet us there, because you're going to be pretty vital in this fight, I think, against these elite hunters. I might be overreacting, but I mean, they are attacking us where we don't have walls. They've, uh, they're uh, hitting our supply chain, you know? They're doing a little guerrilla warfare. So the tables have turned with the United Cities. We used to do that to them, attacking their uh, slave markets. They're like, uh-uh-uh, we're going to do that to your copper mine. We do not want a team full of cybernetic mega hivers. To be fair, neither would I want to fight that. <laughs> yeah, my plan right now is to just up the de dexterity to the insane levels. So we're just swinging weapons at like light, lightning like speed. It's, it's going to be pretty dope. That's at least what I'm telling myself. Benedict, while you're running there, maybe you could keep an eye out for some FUD. Good old food. Um, not really seeing anything besides these birds. I mean, you do have a crossbow. Pretty high up, though. Question for you guys. Just random thought. You guys know how people go shoot ducks with like shotguns and stuff and, and all that stuff I was just thinking did they used to do that with crossbows and arrows and like bows and stuff like how old is that tradition of shooting birds out of the air oh look there is bone dogs unfortunately we do not have a bed or uh healing at the co at the copper mine so uh that's going to be kind of interesting okay uh you know i would bring these guys back to the copper mine and then just run them down 
with the people that are waiting. 1886, what's going on with you? Says you're being attacked. Oh yeah, you can outrun that, that's fine. We'll be fine. I think. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, Benedict, maybe we don't want to do this. Might not work out by the looks of it. You're not very good with the crossbow. And you literally have, like, one skill in crossbows. I'll get the food that, you, that you've earned at the very least. Come here, come on. The good boy. Good Benedict. Uh, and then where's the other one? Here. That looked like a samurai sword. You know what I mean? Doesn't that look like a little bit like a one of the samurai swords in game? Or like the sheaths for them at the very least? Okay, Benedict, go lose these guys. Go behind this like rock thing. Or metal thing. Not rock. What am I what am I saying? I feel like those guys are gonna go run straight for our base. Are they running towards that group with like Igor and whatnot? I think they are. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Good luck, guys. You're gonna need it against those things. They're pretty brutal. Might I think they probably killed one of them. No? Maybe not. Maybe they made it. Really? No, he's dead. Any other ones? Nah. Looks like they actually did fine. Oh. Well, color me impressed. Uh, Trill. Are they gonna start attacking you? No, they don't really seem that interested in Trill. Oh look, our other people arrived at at the same time. This little party of people. Uh, Benedict. I am freaked out about that crossbow. We got a lot of hivers here. I'm not looking to get anyone domed out of nowhere. Uh, Beanie. Yeah, you you just have a number of enemies around you. Ooh, you almost got hit by like an area attack there. Good thing you didn't. Is Igor here already? Where is he? Oh, he's already inside. Okay, cool. Uh, Benedict, go trade with Igor. Pet is definitely gotta be on the front lines. The elite hunters, though. That I am uh, really confident about. So yeah, we need that. Tigor, and then what about that right leg? It'll make him a little bit faster if we stick this on, so I think we'll do that. Uh, and then actually, I need to check what Ar Arnold was uh, carrying around. No prosthetics, but he does have... Uh, decent, decent gear. Um, that needs more fabric. Did we end up making a thing to make fabric? I don't think we did. Okay, at least we got this going though. Pretty, pretty good. It's not so bad that we've got someone starving to death because we actually seem to be fine. Igor, I do want you to trade with these guys a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> that's so gross. Eat all that disgusting meat. Eat foul meat. And then Jig, are you? You're still starving. If I give this to you, I think that that you'll actually share that with that squad as well. Gotta save a little bit. Keep it with Igor. Okay, and let's switch out that arm. You know, I'm pretty sure Igor by himself, as long as we were to be strategic with distracting the enemy, I'm pretty sure by himself he could probably take out all four of the elite hunters. Elite hunters aren't so bad. They're not too difficult to kill. Okay, we've got tons of hemp. We're ready to uh, upgrade that. Do that. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, where are those elite hunters? I also want to make note of where they're coming from. Because, uh... I kind of want to check that out and see if we can attack the United City's base up there. Benedict, do you want to do a little scouting, maybe? I don't know. You seem to be the only one doing the engineering right now. No, Electrician is, is a... Uh... Oh, he's actually not gotten any of the food. Who has the food? Jig. Yo, Jig. Can you go uh, give Electrician some food? He's uh, he's looking a little hungry. And hopefully our base, now that we've got more iron being produced in those iron plates... Oh wait, we brought people over here. Well, <laughs> about that. <laughs> hopefully that base will start being able to ship more supplies over to here. Go ahead and give them all that. We'll do something like that. Sorry, yeah, Trish, and I know it's pretty gross having that foul meat, but okay, it's fine. Okay, so that is growing. These are watered. Okay. This place looks like it's okay. We just kind of need to get people positioned now for war. Uh, it may be a little while before they get here, though. So we'll see. It's I'm looking at it, and I think we're about 20 minutes of the episode, right? We'll get the soldiers in the front, and then we'll get some princes uh, behind them. Uh, I think that we don't want Igor right now or Benedict, but everyone else. Wait, wait, Oro's not here. Hold on. Let's just do this. I think Tanishi and Oro, yeah, you guys, we're not going to worry about you. But Oro's not a prince, so he shouldn't even be in the prince squad. Prince squad. <laughs> We're gonna say that was a bureaucratic error in the paperwork. Someone did their paperwork wrong. It was red main. Always red main. Uh, Parm, if there is food to cook, you can you can do the cooking. But it doesn't look like we have these guys um, near where we need them. Carlsberg, what's the deal with you? Oh yeah, your leg got like destroyed. <laughs> Oh, it's a robotic leg. Well, we might be able to replace that. I don't think we have... Oh, we do. We do have a right leg. Okay, go give that to Jarlsberg. Go do a little trade with him. Happy birthday. And now, not only are you not uh, injured... You're gonna be a fast boy. Look at him go. Makes me proud. And then Igor, you'll just be right in the center here. Uh, you can put down Feta. And Pet will be right by your side. Ready to die for the hive. And I don't think it's gonna be too much longer till they're actually with us. I could go crossbow them with uh, Benedict, but this is kind of like the event of the episode, right? So I think we'll just let them come to us and we'll uh, we'll kill them when they get to us. Oh, pet, you need actual food. Right, about that. <laughs> we need to cook some of that uh, food we just gathered. We'll put a little fire right there. I know we shouldn't be putting it right next to the building, but it's fine, it's whatever. Okay, go ahead, put your food in there. Igor, get back out there. Benedict, yeah, you can come back out here. And then Pet, once it's cooked, I'll actually give you some. You'll perform a lot better in the fight if I uh, if I give you food. You don't even have medic job enabled, and you're um, what you call it? Igor, move a little bit. You don't have a proper first aid kit either. Does anyone have any extras? We actually probably are gonna need to use a medic kit on pet if they don't die, is the thing. Oh, Cheddar, you've actually almost completely used yours up. Give another one to Cheddar. 
because that is not going to fly. Okay, looking pretty good. Oh, Feta, you need a first aid kit. Do that. And you also could use a proper first aid kit. Is there anyone else with, like, two of them? Uh, yeah, you got two. Give one to Jack. And now we wait. Oh, while we're waiting, maybe we can go check on Silas, see if there's any more of those AI cleanser units walking around here, stumbling through the Ashlands. Uh... That to me looks like... I could have sworn the Iron Spider was walking. But I think it's just the uh, heat waves giving the illusion of movement, right? And it looks like this little peak here actually uh, doesn't seem to get the stu the those little toxic clouds right on the top. Kind of interesting. Keep on thinking that's uh, something that I'm looking for. Well, the cleanser units, but it's just like these dead iron spiders. I do really like that effect on the map. Where you're like, is this thing alive? I don't know. But it's pretty easy to tell if they're alive or not. What I would really like if there was like a, ones that look like they're not alive, but when you get close, they end up jumping out at you. So it, you'd have to like uh, be a little bit more cautious in those biomes. What is that? Is that my cat? Like hearing something. Sounds like a cat that's being bad. Flying something, but. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. That to me seems like a trap. Wait, so the feature that I was that suggesting is an actual thing? Holy cow. Oh my gosh. How did I not know that? Okay, well, let's go back to here, and we'll see what what happens with these guys. They're pretty close. They'll be here any minute now, so I think we'll just uh, watch what happens. I've got a pretty good feeling that we're going to destroy them, but at the same time, they could be like a thousand stats, man, and just destroy all this, you know? Uh, pet. You got your food yet? Yeah, you're fine. You are fine. I'm gonna put down the wheat straw. Just so cumbersome. Uh, what's... What's the deal? Eat dried meat? Oh, uh, pet put the dried meat in there. Well, you just ruined my formation, pet. Come on. Uh, we're gonna have to fix things up just a little bit. We got, we got a little bit of time. We're okay. E Trill, you should be in the front line. Uh, uh, get you over here. And Arnold. Yeah, you, we got some people there a little beat up. Probably don't want Arnold to be involved right away. Same with Feta. But you're Allsburg, you're a speedy boy, so I'm going to actually put you like over here and you can kind of loop around them kind of what I'm thinking and then Benedict you'll be doing a similar job and Redmain as well so hopefully they attack up front and then we can loop around with those guys and get at least a 2 to 1 ratio um, on any one of them look there they are see how bad we've got it um yeah, if we're going to be fine. They're all like 70, essentially. Their stats. Um, and I mean, we could have you guys fight, but you're so hungry. I don't think that's a good idea. Upper miner. Yeah. With being malnourished, you're going to move so slow. It's not even worth it bringing you down. What about electrician? I mean, Electrician could fight, but I think that we got this locked down. I think that we got it. But I think that, yeah. Please nobody die. Please nobody die.
So, yeah, here we go. We got these guys. Um, you know, it'd be awesome as if the bone dogs attacked them. We got like little guard dogs basically right here. Not that they're actually attacking anything, but you know. Let's see where exactly these guys start their little spiel. Um, they're gonna actually run past us. <laughs> no, you're not. Gonna get y'all. Gonna send you three onto this guy. And then you two onto the one Igor's going onto uh, Jarlsberg. Are you coming in? Yeah, you should be. And Beanie and Beef, I'm gonna have you kind of loop around to the back as well. Oh my gosh. What happened there? Okay, well, Beef's lost a leg. And is probably gonna die from blood loss. Um, but we do have some good hits on them. Man, he had of damage done to that leg but it looks like there's two limbs so this right leg actually performed really well uh, and okay that was not too bad good work team do first aid on beef we don't want him dying from blood loss nice very very nice look at that buff hyper leg Nice beefy. Right? Hence his name. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well I'm looking at it. That was actually perfect because we're about a half an hour into the video. And so I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.